In this tutorial, we will learn Dress Up Features Toolbar. Let's firstly create a solid object to work on Dress Up Features Toolbar. So now we have a solid object and now firstly we will try the edge fillet. Select the edge fillet and select the edge that you would like to fillet and specify the radius of the fillet. In this case, let's try 10mm. Click on OK. As we can see, the radius 5 is being applied. You could also see that the radius will be 5 once we do the measure tool. Now let's try the next tool that is the chamfer tool once we click on the chamfer we have an option called as length angle or length one length two so if we use a length one length two we have an option to specify the length on both directions if i apply 15 here and 5 here we could see the difference. And if I give for reverse, the same thing will be reversed. And if you just try the same thing with the length angle, then you have an option to specify the length and the angle. If I give around 60 degrees, As you can see, 15 will be counted and the angle of 60 degrees will be applied. The same thing goes if I reverse. If I reverse, the same dimensions will be applied but on the opposite direction. And let's see how what happens when we apply the shell command. Shell command is sometimes very handy so you could see how this is applied. We just have to select the face that you would like to remove when you apply the shell and specify the thickness of the shell that you would like to apply and click on OK. So that creates a shell. So this equally splits or removes or carves the solid object and creates a shell inside. So if you measure the thickness it would be 3 mm that whatever I have mentioned. So if I just Select the measure command and just measure it. It might be 3. It will be 3. So let's see what is it over here. It's 3mm. So that's about the shell command. And uh, let's see the remaining options of the dress up features in our next tutorial. Thank you so much.